Warning, the following video may contain swearing, screaming, and all around insanity that will be completely amazing. Viewer discretion is advised. How is everybody doing today? My name is Wild Leprechauns, and today I'm bringing you my first episode of Map Deconstruction. And today, we're going over the map Studio, which is a remake of Firing Range. And Firing Range had always been one of my favorite maps in the original Black Ops. And since I brought it back, I thought I'd give you guys an in-depth look at all the different objective locations, routes you could take, and different strategies on how to play this map better than before. And to start off, we're going to be looking at some nice spots and lines of sight, and jumps and locations and stuff. Hope you guys enjoy. So when you're playing on this map, you might spawn over by here, I think it's by CDOM. And you're going to notice that right over here, you could shoot these barrels. There used to be a car over there, and you can actually kind of peek through. And you can see through the entire saloon. That's pretty good. And over here, you have the explosive barrels again. And you might want to take these out, but you could use a nice little head glitch across over there to watch C. And right over here, I just thought I'd point this building out. It's not really useful, but it's there. And they kept the alternate entrance up here. You can still get into the barn from jumping up there. And there's one on the reverse. And they kind of made this area a little bit brighter, so you can't really hide in there as much. And you have to watch out for those explosive barrels when you're going inside. People might put a bouncing betty and blow you up or whatever. But over here, you could break this window and pop out. And it kind of gives you a nice little walk across to here. You don't want to do this when you're getting shot at, really, because you'll get killed pretty easily. But you can get a nice little line of sight right into that area, because they often spawn there. And over here, this is kind of pointless, this little jump. Nothing really to do here. You can kind of get a nice line of sight up there, but not really much at all. And you can still see back there, but it's not really worth it. Now over here, B is kind of open, so you can get naded pretty easily. But I found like you can kind of lay it down over here, over here. It kind of works out pretty well for you. You can still grab the flag, and you're in relatively in good cover. And you can kind of do it from here. It's not as good, but uh, there's, there's not that many spots to capture B from. Now in here, if you didn't know, that's an alternate entrance. There's some swords now and a helmet. Kind of makes a funny noise when you knife it, but um, besides that, you still have like the whole um, stairway up here. And you got a pretty decent line of sight, but you're pretty open, so you got to be careful. And this cover up here is made of wood, so it's very fragile. And if you haven't uh, noticed on the first map, you could always climb up that ladder. They made it now out of like wood, so it looks pretty cool. And you could always just hop right on down into this spot. And uh, it's not really all that useful, but you could use it to get away from people. And going around over here, back to the saloon, there are some actual spots that I figured out that capture C. And uh, you can kind of lean over here, or over here. Uh, it's not that good because you still get a lot of people looking at you from back at their spawn. And uh, but but it's, it gives you a little bit of cover. Over in here, they, there's not really much to say in here. You could kind of peek behind the table, but you could still get shot through it. Same with over here. And uh, that's pretty much it in this room. There's not much to talk about in there. And over here, in this building, you can just use that little piece of cover. Right here, you can just kind of sit behind it and watch out that door. The window you can kind of use, but uh, it's not going to be that good for you. And going over here, you can kind of use this little thing as cover, but it's, it's kind of fragile. You can kind of shoot through, but uh, it's like wood, so you're not going to be able to get protected that thoroughly. Over here is just stuff in there. But um, right here, this is actually a pretty good spot because they sometimes spawn inside of that building. And you can also get on top of this and you can uh, kind of get away from gunfights that you don't want to be in. Or you can crouch behind it and pick people off that are in that building with uh, pretty good cover. Now in the building, there's not much to say. You can kind of peek behind these plants if you suspect somebody's going to go in from either side. And it kind of works, but you have to be uh, pretty aware that somebody's going to come in. Right here, this is the other spawn when you're playing Domination or Search and Destroy and stuff. They kind of spawn over here. And uh, they run straight out, and they can run and grab A. And A is uh, not that hard to capture, but it's it's a good flag to hold. I don't know if C or A is better. It depends on how you're playing, because there's good lines of sight from either side. A obviously has this big building, but C also has, like, the barn, pretty much. So you got a lot of stuff. But over here at A, you can kind of capture it by either laying down kind of near this rock. You got a little bit of cover. You also have uh, the side of the building. This is probably the best spot. You can lay right next to the building, and you're kind of in cover. And you kind of blend in. Then over here, you can just climb up this ladder to get in. And there's not really much to say. You can also break this window right here, and you could plop out, and you could drop down. Or you can use it as a way to get into that area. It's not really that good because people eaves like easily find you over there. But you can in this spot, you can kind of get a nice little 
head glitch sort of thing, and it works both sides to kind of keep people out of their spawn. And over here, you can see the gold. You can use that as another little head glitch if you know somebody's coming that way. Probably good for search or whatever. And right over here, because the bomb site is right in the middle, and you can do the same sort of thing behind these. Kind of stand up if you need to. And uh, not really much you could say about the back. This it's very open in a lot of ways, which is pretty good. I mean, yeah, this is kind of funny. Look at all the little cars. You can break them and they blow up and stuff. It's kind of funny. But um, over here, you can kind of look down. This is a very dangerous area because you have little cover. And you can kind of walk around and try and get out, but not really much to say. Over here, you can kind of get behind this. People know about it, so uh, it's, it's kind of fragile cover. It's not going to work out that well for you. There's other routes you could take. Over here, this is completely pointless unless somebody's like coming after you. You might just want to pop in there, but it's not really worth it. And that's pretty much it with this side of the map. I'm gonna, I'm just kind of navigating around right now, looking for all the other spots because there's some other spots. Right here, I forgot completely that uh, that never was a spot. So it might look like you can get in, but it's not really. Don't even try it. It's not gonna get. It's not gonna work. The actual spot is over here, and you can just kind of hop up, hop up, and then if you have the glass broken, you could break it and hop in or whatever. And it's a good way to get into the barn. Probably more for search and destroy, but it could work for for other game modes. I've used it in free for all a couple times. But it's uh it's pretty worthwhile to use. And you can get a good sight over to B, so you can kinda hop down and you got some good cover to get B. And you can kinda peek behind these targets. I don't know if they're that sturdy, but you can kinda get a nice little head glitch sort of thing going on over here, and you can kinda look around. That looks pretty nice. Over here, this thing also works. It's probably better for, like, light machine guns and snipers. You can kind of snipe from behind that. Works from all these little boxes. I don't know how sturdy the cover is, but I think it's sturdy enough where you can take a few bullets, and if you get shot at too much, you could run away. It's kind of funny. They have little posters and stuff on the walls. So this map is very nice looking. There's a whole bunch of different spots. If you find any spots, maybe leave them in the, in the comment section, and I'll add them to another video or whatever. And I'll uh, use them and learn them. But there's a whole bunch of spots. This map is full of nice head glitches and all this other stuff that you could use to keep those high streaks going and pretty much just do better on the map. Okay, so now we're moving on to an actual overhead view of the map. And you notice on the screen that I have the picture of the map, then I have a little key in the bottom left and a whole bunch of things drawn on it. And the first thing you might want to take note of is the domination objective locations. These are like the flags you have to capture in domination. And A is actually pretty close to the spawn, but it's not as close as C is. When you spawn on seaside, you pretty much have to run five feet and you could get on the flag. So, well, you might get the flag before the people at A, but you always want to try and get C fast. It's a pretty good flag to hold. Now, when it comes to the opening routes, after you grab the flag, you can either, when you're running towards A and you grab A, you can either flank to the left and try and get around towards B and search and destroy, because that has a pretty good hot spot over there and you can kind of flank the people at C or B. Or you can kind of run to the right or run straight ahead. It depends on what your preference is. Same thing with C. They're pretty much identical in the opening routes you could take. Because this map, although it doesn't look linear, it is somewhat linear in the way it's played. Now, the search and destroy objectives, they're actually pretty much straight across from each other on opposite sides of the map. And B for search and destroy is probably going to be the easier to plant at. Because when you spawn at... You're going to pretty much spawn when you're playing Search and Destroy when you're on offense near A, and you can run right into B. And if you have a whole bunch of, there's a whole bunch of cover over there, like you saw in the previous little section, and you can get that cover and lock that objective down and plant the bomb, and it'll be hard for the enemy to get in there. A, on the other hand, there's not as much cover, so if you go to plant there, it's going to be harder for you to be able to protect that bomb. You do have that big building that's also a hardpoint location for playing hardpoint, but it's not going to serve you any good if you can't really keep the area under lockdown. Now the hardpoint locations, they're all like near buildings and stuff. And the one of the hardpoints is actually on the B domination flag. So you have to be careful when you're going for that. And the red locations, those are just hot spots that I kind of figured out where they are. That's where a lot of combat seems to happen. So if you're playing free for all or anything like that, that's good locations to get your kills. But if you're on like a high kill streak, you might want to try and avoid those locations because it might result in your death. Now we're gonna move on to some actual routes because I have the routes drawn in here but it might be a little bit confusing so I'm going to do some actual live routes right now. And now is the time where I'm going to show you guys some opening routes. And the first route is you just flank all the way around to the seaside when you're playing domination. This also works for search and destroy if you want to get the bomb planted quickly because the bomb set's going to be right about on your right right now and you can kind of get right over to sea and kind of take them out if they're on it. Next route is pretty simply just run straight up 
and you could just chuck a nade or whatever right across. Just make sure you wait for the timer. Next route is actually a pretty cool one. You can hop up on this and hop up again, and you can get actually a pretty nice line of sight down to B, and if you want, you can hop down and grab it. This route goes along with getting into that building as well. You just go into A, and you would cap it, and then you just go and kind of flank over to B. This route is actually a pretty common one. I see a lot of people doing this. You run, grab A, and then you just run straight up this alleyway, and there's not really much cover here, but it's a good flank route, and you can get either B or C there. And you're spawning on seaside, you just hop on the flag, and this is probably my favorite, right? You can just hop up here, and you have a perfect view over to their spawn. And over here, this is a route where you just take a right flank, and you would go all the way around, and you could just hop in through this window area, like this door, or you can alternatively hop around through this way, and you have more cover, and you can kind of pick people off as they come around the corner from A side. Now, this route, I don't see as many people running, but you can run right through the saloon, and then you kind of get this area, and you could either stand right here, wait for someone to come around, go in this building, or pick them off as they go to B or whatever. And this last route, this is pretty simply just run straight ahead, and it's pretty much the counter to the other just chuck and aid spot. Now, guys, if you have any suggestions for what I should do for the next map guide, which I think I'm going to be doing either Magma or Vertigo, leave them down below. If you like this, leave a like. If you didn't like it, tell me why. And also give me suggestions on what I could do to make this map guide better, because I'm trying to make this as helpful and useful as possible for you guys so you can play better on these new maps. And I'm going to probably go back and do some old maps, too. So I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you next video, guys. Bye.